Hi everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and in today's video we are doing a University of Nottingham Q&A. <laughs> Now, I did actually film one of these last year. I will leave the link in my description. But obviously, there's a whole new group of students who will be coming to the Uni of Knots this year, and I know that you all have lots of questions to ask. There is actually a part one to this video, which is just a general university Q&A, so I recommend you go watch that before watching this. But today, I'm going to be answering all of your questions about the Uni of Knots specifically. So whether you're a prospective student, a current student, hopefully some of what I say will be helpful as I'm about to graduate and I feel like I know just about everything there is to know about the uni of knots at this point. So also I just wanna say that I am actually feeling a little bit poorly. So if I don't seem completely on form in today's video, that is why, but anyways. A question that actually came up quite a lot was what is your opinion on catered accommodation at the University of Nottingham? Okay, so I think the reason that people ask this question quite a lot is actually because there is significantly more catered accommodation um, at Nottingham than there is self-catered. My opinions are actually, if you can go catered at the Uni of Knots, I would recommend you go catered. Now that is coming from someone that was actually self-catered. I went to Broadgate Park and I had an amazing experience, don't get me wrong, but the more time I've spent here, the more I've heard about the social experience at the catered accommodation halls. And honestly, it just sounds like so much fun. And it's one of my biggest regrets of, like it's one of my biggest regrets whilst I've been here was not going catered just because it just sounds like such a good time. Um, and also it just sounds like you make so many different friends there. I would say if you can go catered, go catered. I know that making your own food is a bit of a struggle. Obviously you don't have like, necessarily a kitchen that you can use in catered because you get all your food cooked for you. I mean, I know that the catered food isn't great, but I definitely think it makes up for itself in the quality of your social life, if that makes sense. So the next question is, how often do you go into the city of Nottingham and how long do you spend on campus in normal times? I also have a bar job in the city centre, which means I go in probably more than most people. So I'd go in minimum twice a week for that. But then on top of that, I'd probably go in twice two or three times more maybe for nights out or like during the day so probably like five or five or six times a week which sounds like quite a lot um but it's not all during the day some of it's obviously during the night time in normal times i'd probably go at least once every day so like for at least an hour but if not like maybe a whole day or half a day but also that really is course dependent like obviously I study English, so I don't have many contact hours, but say if you study architecture or physics, you're gonna have way more contact hours than me. <laughs> Next question, is there much support available, e.g. dental health support? Actually, yes, there is a huge amount of support available. So not only do you have your personal tutor and your professors and your peer mentors, but you also have the counseling service, you have Crips Health Center, you have um, listening services like Nightline. Also for most societies, you often have like a welfare rep, which are there to sort of like support their members. So you've got them as well. Of course, you've got your friends, um, but really, there, I mean, I'm probably not even mentioning all of the mental health services, but there are a lot of services on offer. And I know from people that have used them that they've had a really good experience with them. Um, if there's one thing I'd say about the Uni of Knots, I'd say that they have a huge focus on mental health, which is, you know, really reassuring. You know, it's very likely that at some point or other in our lives, we'll all suffer with a mental health issue. So it's nice to know that going to university, you'll be well supported. The one thing I'll say though, is that if you, in any university setting, this is not just here, like they won't necessarily, unless you unless you go to seek the help, they won't necessarily check in on you. So if you're struggling, it's, it's, it is up to you to ask for that help and take that first step. Um, Cause there won't be people like regularly checking in on you, if that makes sense. It's not kind of like school in that way. Next question, how well would you say they have handled the situation with online learning? So how it works at university is each sort of subject is run by a different faculty in a different department, which are all completely separate from each other. So the professors that run the English department have absolutely nothing to do with the architecture department or the engineering department. Like they're all completely separate and they're unlikely to cross paths. Um, so it's really up to each department. So I can only speak from knowing how English have dealt with it. Personally, 
English have dealt with it incredibly well, I'd say. I would say that, you know, I, I received just as much support as before. Obviously the only issue with online learning. Next question, are there any cafes that you can spend hours studying in? Yes, absolutely. So in normal times, um, there are so many cafes on campus. My absolute favorite is Portland Coffee, it's in the SU. It's just such a nice, cozy coffee shop and the coffee is so nice. Their pumpkin spice lattes are to die for. But also there's like cafes in pretty much every building. So, you know, if you're in between lectures, you can pretty much stop anywhere for a sandwich and a cup of coffee, which I used to love doing. It's something I really miss about going into uni is having that sort of campus experience. Next question, do you feel far away from the city centre on campus? Thing is, not really, honestly not really. It's not that far, really. It's probably like, it's like 10 minutes, it's like a 10 minute drive away. So oftentimes you'll get the bus or the tram or an Uber, really cheap to get to city centre, but it doesn't feel far away. Like it's definitely commutable for sure. I mean, I go into town, like I said, I go into town most days and it was absolutely fine. Like I said, in normal times, I'd go into town most days and it would be fine. So like, yeah, it's, it's not that far away and the public transport here is honestly excellent. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. So the next question is, do you mix with Nottingham Trent Uni? Um, well, I think that generally depends on the person um, because there aren't like, like in terms of the actual uni itself and the societies, I wouldn't say they cross over that much, maybe on certain things like Nottingham Varsity and that kind of thing, but generally not loads. I'd say if you're gonna like cross with Nottingham Trent, usually you've already got links there. So whether it be a partner or like you meet them online or like you've got friends who go there. I personally do have a lot of friends, close friends that go to Nottingham Trent. Um, so like for me personally, yeah, I mix with them quite a lot. Next question, is there a supermarket slash essential shops on campus? Yes, there's a spa and a boots in the SU as long as those like cafes and food things. There's also like a bookshop, a hairdresser's, a, um, a merch shop. Um, and, and that's like right in the middle of campus. So it's quite easy to get to, but also like dusted around campus, there's like vending machines and cafes. So like, if you ever want food or essentials, it's really easy to get to. And failing that there's a co-op right outside the West entrance. So it'll be fine. Okay. So the next question is, does it have a good mix of city life and relaxed study life? I would say that uni of does have a good mix of study and like work and play, I guess. But I think honestly that depends on the individual every time because I know people that are just work, work, work and don't party at all. But I also know people that are party, party, party with zero work involved. So I think it generally really depends on the person. I think I've got quite a good balance. I'm definitely in the middle. Like I love working hard and I love doing work, but I also, I love to let my hair down and have fun too. So I've got a lot of questions asking about the best places to study. Um, so in my opinion, D floor of the Monica Partridge building is 10 out of 10, my favorite. Monica Partridge building in general is just so nice. Um, but also I used to love studying in the Portland coffee shop. Um, George Green Library was also a firm fave of mine. Hallward Library. Next question, how did you make friends in first year hoping to go there in September? So in first year, I mainly made friends at my hall. So like, I think that there was a group chat before I moved in of everyone in my block and that the person on the bottom floor who is now one of my best friends, Osha, and was having a flat party. And so we all went to that and that's where I actually met the majority of my friends in first year. But I made the majority of the friends I have now in second year. So I met people through NSTV. I met people through being a digital ambassador. I did lots of like uni related kind of society things. So I kind of put myself out there a bit more and got myself a bit more involved. And I found that was a really good way of making friends. But just generally at uni, I think you have to be quite bold and you have to ask people to do things instead of just being passive and letting people ask you, you have to put yourself out there and ask, like you can't get on your high horse about it. So next question, what is Broadgate Park like? Um, so I was actually standard accommodation at Broadgate Park. 
uh, I was in Magnolia. I was in Magnolia block on the third floor. I was in flat 190. So if you ever find yourself in that flat, that was my flat. To be honest, I had overall a good experience at Bordergate Park. I mean, if I'm being totally honest, it probably, like the furniture was quite outdated and it wasn't like, it was quite grubby at times, to be honest. Like the rooms were not the best. Like I've definitely seen first year accommodations that are a lot nicer than Wardgate Park and that's just me being honest, but I had a good time overall, you know, I can't sit here and complain really. To be honest, overall, like I had a pretty good time and like I would obviously stay there again, like it was absolutely fine, but it wasn't the best. It wasn't like the best first year accommodation, but it, it did the job, you know. Okay, so next question. What's your fave and least fave thing about the Union of Knots? Okay, so my favorite things would be a toss up between the nightlife and the campus. I, I I I absolutely love the campus so much. It's got such a special place in my heart. Whenever I go on campus, I'm always like, oh, I just love it here. It's so homely um, and it's so pretty. And there's like a massive lake and the greenery is just so lovely. It's such a lovely place to be. But also the nightlife is such, like when everything's open, it's so much fun living here. Um, you know, and going to all the club nights and the bars and the events, like it's, it's a lot of fun. So it'd definitely be a toss up between those two. My least favorite thing, if I'm being totally honest, and I don't think I've ever spoken about this, is probably the locals. Um, specifically the locals in Lenton. Um, uh, it's, I think the thing is, because this is like a predominantly student area, it's quite a cheap place to live. Um, you do get some like dodgy people hanging around in Lenton and like it doesn't always feel the safest and that's just me being totally open totally honest it doesn't always feel super safe as long as you keep your doors locked and you sort of just take precautions then you know it's fine I mean nothing's ever happened to me or any of my friends but you do hear of people like breaking in um and like people getting mugged and you know whatnot which isn't nice um and it is quite unnerving when you live around here but that's not the uni of knots's fault that's not like that's not the uni of knots that's just nottingham generally i think and also you'll find that in most student areas like i know my parents had the same problem when they went to leeds so next question are drinks cheap it depends where you go um most places they are relatively cheap so you know like in pom pom rock city uh ocean uh like kukumara like a lot of the places are quite cheap so i say you're probably looking at maybe like £3.50, £4.50 for a double, and then like £2 for a single, uh, like £3 for a beer, like £3 for a cider. And also there's lots of like drink deals and student deals. So generally drinks are really cheap. Um, but always always ask about student offers at bars, by the way, guys, because oftentimes bars do do student deals, especially in Knotts, because it's a student city, really. Okay, so this is the last question I will be answering. What are the gyms like at Knotts? So on at the University of Nottingham specifically, there are a few gyms. I know there's David Ross and the Jubilee Gym. Both are very nice, very modern. They do get very busy, and the gym membership is expensive. Uh, I had a gym membership there in first year but it wasn't really worth it for me because it, it was just so busy all the time you could like barely get on any of the machines it was really annoying um but if you're doing a sports club then you will need to have the gym membership to be able to do the sports clubs but there are also loads of gyms like around so there's loads of pure gyms there's like exercise for less um i personally used to go to a pure gym which was just around the corner um and loved that never got too busy it was always Always a good time. You won't be stuck for choice, don't worry. That just about rounds up today's Uni of Knots Q&A. If you want me to film another one of these later down the line, then just let me know in the comment section. But hopefully I've answered enough of your questions for now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you like a notification every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at Lemmy Horton. Follow me on there for all the most up-to-date information on what is going on in my life. And follow me on TikTok, my handle is at Lemmy Horton and the last O is a zero. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!